Alright, what's up guys? Magic TK here. Sorry if that intro sounded a little bit weird, but basically I am back for another tutorial. Sorry about the long wait. I mean, like I've mentioned in a video a couple videos ago, I just don't really know what to upload. Not, um, I'm not trying to harp on you guys for not giving you me ideas, because that's just dumb. But, you know, um, I don't really feel like doing the commentaries and stuff anymore. I mean, I don't know, you guys tell me, do you guys really like to see them? I don't really know, but pretty much... Uh, aside from that, we're going to be doing this tutorial really, really quick on this cool, wispy, smoky effect. You guys saw a preview at the beginning of this video, so you guys can just refer to that as what we're learning. But yes, I used this in my Sora C under the text, and it looked really, really cool. I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. It's actually really, really simple. You will need a couple things, which I will mention in a second. So we're just going to drag my cinematic. It's actually pretty fast cinematic. I just recorded this. And a couple seconds on Xbox, just really, really quick for the tutorial purposes. So, first thing you guys are gonna need to do if you want to recreate the effect I use is just track your camera. And this won't, you won't always need to do this, but if you want anything floating around in the actual map, then this is what's going to be necessary. Also, while it's doing this, I'm just going to cut my clip, and I'm just going to put it where it actually belongs. Okay, that seems about good. Okay. So I'll just cut to when this is finished and I'll see you guys then. Okay, I lied. We're actually going to be continuing right now. Um, basically, the pack that you guys are going to need for this is called Shockwave. It's from Video Copilot. It's basically an overlay pack, which is eventually going to get really overused. So I, I decided to just do a tutorial on it before uh, before it's unusable. But anyways, so see, these are the Shockwaves, right? There's actually so many of these. If you guys have the pack, I suggest you guys just go around, see what all these do, see what each of the different ones are like. My favorites uh, are probably the Organic 2, that one's really nice. Uh, I don't know, there's a few of them that are really, really nice. Let's just drag in a, let's just drag in a few. Let's drag in, let's say, 23, 7, Organic 2, like I said, like I mentioned, I like that one. And uh, that should be good for now. So as you can see, is the camera done? Yes, it is. That's great. So, yes, yeah, so what we want to do now is just drag in our shockwave elements. Now, let's just turn them all off, except for one of them, just so you guys can get a basic understanding of what they are. So, as you can see, we have this pretty neat animation right here, right? It's pretty much just an explosion. You guys can speed this up or slow it down with time remapping or twister, whatever you guys want to use. I'll leave it for now, just so that it kind of fits the cinematic state. It kind of ends as the cinematic ends, so I think we're just going to leave that as it is for now. Um, but yes, um, so how you guys want to make it to actually fit over top of the map is just make it the screen so that the black goes away. And now we have this, but it's not very good because it's just it's just 2D over the 3D cinematic. So how we can fix that, click the 3D button, boom, there we go. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching the tutorial guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. No, I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding. <laughs> um so yes, um okay, moving on. We're gonna get into some more fun stuff in a second. Let's just adjust the rotation. A little bit maybe scale it up it's actually a really cool plugin this one's free so you guys can just download this right now I'll put a download link in the description to this and the shockwave pack if you guys want to buy it this one's free though like I, like I just mentioned this one basically just makes it different colors and it's really really useful now if you guys are wondering why you would not just use tint or something else for this uh, this one's actually a little bit better because the the brighter parts are actually like a little bit higher of a hue and the darker parts are like dark so like for example this green maybe the, the brights are a bit brighter yellow and then the, the darks are like maybe a, like a navy blue or not blue sorry like a dark green so anyways we're just going to select a few basic colors my voice does sound a little bit screwed up so I'm sorry for that let's also turn these layers on the other two shockwave elements and maybe add these on basically you got you guys want to do when you're creating um, when you're creating visuals and stuff is just mess around have as much fun as you can create such a unique effect that everyone's just like whoa and just really really blow people away with how creative you are you know that's my best advice I can give anyone trying to make a cool or unique edit so we're just going to mess around with a couple values you guys can do this if you want to nothing too fancy here maybe drag on color vibrance onto a couple more layers maybe let's make this one like a nice purple maybe like a nice magenta this looks pretty nice maybe on to the top one we can make this a blue so we have a pretty unique explosion element right here 
This is looking quite fancy. You can even just select all the layers and scale them up as one. If we need to be a bit bigger, we can scale them down as one. If we need to be a bit smaller. So boom, looking pretty nice. I think this would look really, really cool over some text. Um, okay, what else do I want to show you guys? I did use some plexus in the scene uh, in the Sora Sea as well. But I'm not going to show you guys that right now because that would be quite a long tutorial and I've done a month I've been uh oh, sorry, I've done a lot of tutorials on Plexus in the past, so I don't feel that it's really useful. Alright, like you guys really get a lot out of it since I just have done so much in the past with Plexus. Okay, so this is looking a bit nicer, so the colors blend a bit better together. Like I mentioned you guys, you just want to mess around and come up with something really, really creative. That's the best tip I can give you. This is the base idea of how I did this effect, just check on a shock development track it do some fun stuff you can even like say here in another scene maybe I, I haven't showed you guys this one nobody's seen this except for a couple close friends but okay I used organic too and what you guys can actually do is say let's just create a rectangular mask around here so we just get one side of it so this to screen again let's also make this like that Okay, so now it shoots out nice and fancy. You can also just feather the mask a bit. Alright, it'll be just like 60 pixels. That should be nice. We, just, we don't want it to be too intense of a feather. But yeah, that should look good. We can even make the height down a bit so it's more vertical. And basically what I did is I just rotated the Z and maybe made it like this. Maybe made another one, like this, maybe made another one, like this. So it's kind of like an explosion, like that. I thought it looked really, really cool. It definitely looked pretty unique in the in the thing I did. So like I said, there's so much you guys can do with these shockwave elements. Now, if I, if I could suggest to you anything, don't just try copy what I did in this tutorial because there is so, so much more you can do with this. It's not just simply strict to to what I've showed you here. I think I gotta go pretty soon. Uh, how long are we at? Let's just check real quick. I, I can't even check, but anyways, we're gonna end this off pretty quickly. Yeah, like I mentioned though, it's not just strictly um, strictly defined to what uh, I've showed you here. You know, like I said, you guys just wanna mess around, come up with something completely your own, and that's how you guys can get so much better effects. People will recognize that you're creative, and you'll just be so much more successful. So I always tell you guys that that's my biggest tip for anyone. I want you guys to have yourselves an amazing day. Thank you for watching, and peace out.